Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by the Q crew. Jason L., good to see you, sir. Thanks for having us. As well as Ashley Main. Good to see you. Thank good to you see you as here. well. Thanks so, for having us. From Q100.3, I'm a pleasure to have you. We're talking about this awesome radiothon you guys are doing. It's, it's I think, 16 years now mm -hmm. the station's been doing this. Yes. That's, that's incredible. 10 for you, Jason. Yep. 5 for you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's this Thursday and Friday. This is something you guys have both been involved in for a while. I guess, Jason, let me start with you. Uh, this is personal for you guys. This has become personal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the first time I went to Memphis, I didn't know a whole lot about St. Jude like anyone else. They've maybe seen the TV commercials or heard about it with Marlo Thomas and Danny Thomas and ventured back there for the first time and saw what it was really about. And that's this, this great place in Memphis, Tennessee that's helping kids all over the world fight cancer and other catastrophic illnesses. And it's really amazing what they've been able to do. And uh, instantly I got involved. I have kids and I saw the, the work they're doing and it's very important, unlike any other facility in the world, really. And so we jumped into it full steam. It's something the station was already doing and we have just ran with it, really. Yeah, and you guys have been doing this for a while, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. Ashley, but you guys got to go to Tennessee and see firsthand. That must have been pretty incredible for you. Yeah, every year they do a Country Cares for St. Jude Kids uh, event where you get to come out, you get to tour the hospital and learn about what they're doing, uh, different protocols and things that they're going to do coming up in the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to tour the hospital, which is something that's hands down one of the neatest experiences ever because when you think of a hospital, it's typically not a place that you find joy and happiness. Mm. And when you walk into St. Jude, it is so full of hope. It's beautiful. Even though you're seeing families going through the worst, they have hope because of St. Jude and because of all of the donations coming in to keep St. Jude's doors open. Yeah, and, and so this is something, you know, I said raised $2 million, I think 360000 last year, 350. You guys are breaking records, seems like, every year. Uh, Jason, th there are kids locally who, who participate this. Well, this not only well. are there kids locally who have been impacted uh, that we know about that have went to St. Jude, but also kids who have even been at our local hospitals here who are being seen and treated with the protocols from St. Jude. And that's the most important thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that St. Jude is sharing with their protocols with any hospital in the world that wants to see them. Hmm. So they're doing the research. They're putting the time and energy in, and then they're passing it along. So a lot of kids are, are taken care of right here in our own community with those protocols, and people don't even know that they were discovered and shared from St. Jude, and that's why we work so hard mm -hmm. in our local community. And people always say, I want to donate locally. Well, this is local. It's local in the world, and to have an impact like we have worldwide on childhood cancer is unlike anything I've ever seen, and we're just happy to be a part of it and be able to help out. Yeah, it's fantastic what you guys are doing. When we come back, we'll talk about some of the incredible things you guys have seen and in, in participating in this, as well as the information that people need to know so they can donate. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with the Q crew, Jason Allen and Ashley Main, talking about the Thursday and Friday St. Jude Radiothon you guys are doing and have successfully for so many years, two million bucks raised so far. Uh, so uh, Ashley, success stories. I mean, we've seen kids locally participate in this, um, you know, and, and be cured, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a young man named Pete from Talent and watching him from a younger age, granted, I, I've only been in Medford for four years now, but I met Pete when I first moved here and his family and to just see stories and hear about what his life was like growing up and where he is now, it's leaps and bounds and knowing firsthand the survival rate of when they were first told some really horrible, awful news and to see where he is now, he's an inspiration. He's a mm. wonderful young man. His family's fantastic and he's alive because of St. Jude. There's also a young lady named Allison in Grants Pass who we had a chance to actually watch her entire journey from mm. start to now. They are both in remission. They are cancer free. It is it's incredible to see the work that they do at St. Jude and to know that it is helping people locally. These kids have lives because of St. Jude. Yeah, and that's something, Jason, you spoke to a little bit in, in part one of the interview that obviously we talked about the, the research hospitals in Tennessee. You guys have both been there. You've mm -hmm. seen firsthand the difference it's making, but it is also making a difference here locally. It's incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, people look their whole lives trying to find something to get involved in, right? And we always try and find something where we can make an impact. And really, I feel like there's no greater thing that we can have an impact on in changing the course of history and impacting a child 
child's life. I mean, there's kids 30, 40 years ago that wouldn't have had a chance if it wasn't for St. Jude. And to now see these kids in our own community who are given a chance because people like your viewers and our listeners who decide to pick up the phone or text and call in and donate their hard-earned money, they've literally given those children a chance that they wouldn't have had. And I mean, what greater thing can we be a part of? Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah, well said. And, and Ashley, you've seen some, some pretty cute stories with, with kids bringing their <laughs> piggy banks, if you will, those sorts of things. It's my favorite part about Radiothon is seeing kids helping kids because they are selfless and they are giving their money to help other children live. And we've actually watched two sisters develop a fudge bake sale at Christmas time. And the amount of money that they bring in every year, because what started out is one year, uh, the younger sister, it was her birthday, and she brought in her birthday money. And then it was like, we can do more. And they started doing this bake sale, and they started selling fudge. And we don't ever know what their total is until mm. the girls come in. And my husband and I went and bought fudge from them. Uh, yeah. And I'm just really excited to see those girls when they come in because they rock their St. Jude shirts all year. You see them out in public wearing them. And knowing that they just want to help is so awesome. And there's so many kids in the community that show up. Like, we heard you on the radio. We wanted to give you our money. And some mm -hmm. of them bring in coins or they'll bring in $5 or they'll bring in $10. And it's incredible because we don't ever ask the kids to do that they just want to do it and it's extremely inspirational yeah fantastic so you guys are starting bright and early thursday morning correct it's all day thursday and all day friday yep it'll be us okay. both of us 6 a to 7 p.m and we'll have some of our other bryce and ron will be helping out too but we'll be on the air broadcasting 13 hours each day okay well kudos for you for that <laughs> that's the marathon right radiothon marathon so uh what what number should people be calling maybe to check out the facebook or the website for more information that's right. 1-800-995-5257 uh, is the number. You can also text the word Q Crew to 626262. Okay. And we'll Good have all you. that information at facebook.com slash Q Crew if people happen to miss it. So. Appreciate that. Throwing that in there. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you it. so much. Thank you for everything you're doing. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.